One of the truly funny shows on television is on the OWN Network, Tyler Perry's Love Thy Neighbor. Back for its second season, and Parker joins us right now. And what's it like working with a genius like Tyler Perry? Well, it's not just funny, it's Tyler Perry funny. That's what we, we, we say around the, the cast and everything. Uh, I, I think what has happened is that we're such willing vessels to take on what it is that he wants us to do. And he gives us a little bit of freedom to enhance what he's already written because he writes, produces, and directs all of the shows. So when he gives us a little bit of a rein, you know, which he'll pull us back when we go too far, and, and the eagerness of these uh, youthful actors that are also on the show with the seasoned vets, you know, it, it tends to be a very, very good collection and a very good combination of young and old comedy sort of mixed in. And it's just funny, period. Uh, I, I think because of where he knows each of us can go. He's, uh, he's freer. He, he, he can write a little bit more freer than, than, than he normally would with some other people. And so it, it gives us an opportunity to play. And we actually have fun on set. You know, it's not tight, it's not tense and everything. So we have a relaxed set, but yet we get the job done and we get it done quickly, but we, we do it with excellence. Well, I certainly love how you play Floyd. You do such a great job with that character. And given your success, I know you've met Oprah Winfrey, you're working with Tyler Perry. What have you learned on your journey that you can share with the rest of us? Well, I've definitely learned what not to do. You know, you can always learn what to do, but if you just look at what not to do, you know what I mean? I, 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 I have had the, uh, just the unforeseen blessing and pleasure of being able to not necessarily having to pick my roles, but my roles have been picked for me lately for the last seven, eight years by Mr. Perry, and they've all been winners. And uh, that's because of his insight and his connection with God and with my connection with God as well. So I think that to encourage someone that may be uh, aspiring actors and things like that, stop saying that I, I want to get into acting or I'm trying to be. Just be it. Just be it. And then if you don't have a gig or a door is closed on you, create your own gig. That's, that's the advice I can tell to a lot of people because we oftentimes wait and say like, oh, how can you hook me up with Tyler Perry? How can you hook me up with Oprah Winfrey? Well, I can't hook you up. That's going to be your gift and your talent that actually hooks you up. Because if you put yourself and present yourself as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, he will make a way for you. So that's the thing I can tell you, you know, just put yourself in the position and equip yourself with what it is that you want to do. Don't go in and say like, I want to be an actor today. No, you got to, you know, there's some time that you got to spend on that and invest in yourself, invest in your headshots, resume, reels, R-E-E-L, for those of you, look it up. And those are the sort of things that you have to do in order to equip yourself to be ready when that call comes, because that's what happened for me. I wasn't looking for it, but Mr. Perry actually showed up at church one day when I was performing, and the rest, as they say, is history. Well, Parker, we're certainly blessed that he went to church on the day you were singing because, as you said, the rest is history and we get to enjoy it. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. So now I'm going to say bye, Con.